it's Graham here at NEAT and today I want to take you through how to set up a NEAT pad scheduler also known as Teams panel. So let's just jump over to our room and we can see what we have set up. So inside the room you can see I've got my NEAT board already there and here I am just in front of the NEAT board but we want to put a, a room controller outside the room so we can have that team scheduling panel. So let's just zoom into the panel a little bit more. And we're here at the out of box experience. So I've run my cable down the wall there and I've got it ready for mounting. I've used a side mount here. Remember all the amounts are included for the devices. So I simply now press continue. And I get a choice of what do I want to set this device up as. So it's not a neat bar or controller, it's not a neat bar pro. I'm not adding an additional controller, I am adding a scheduling display. So I select that and I hit continue. Now we have a setup guide here how to mount it. <laughs> it's already mounted, but again, to give you an idea of wall mount versus side mount, which we've done here. So you can scan the QR code just over there and look at it on your another device if you want. And actually, why don't I take you through this? So it tells you what components you need from the box, what bracketry you need, and obviously a cable. Now we also do ship a PoE adapter, so if you want to give it a local power, you can do that. So you have to mount the plate on there. Again, use the uh, Allen key to do all that. Pop those screws in, secure that. And we can jump to the next. And now attach your the bracket, so obviously which way you're round you want it. These screws aren't included because we don't know what you're screwing into, metal, wood, etc. So they need to be supplied by your installer. And then once that's done, you can then mount the bracket on there and connect those two together. And then once that is done in place, we simply mount in the neat pad now and then secure that so it doesn't uh, be taken off the wall. And that's it. That's how simple it is to mount as well. So first thing, we need to make sure it's connected to the internet to see if there's any updates. And obviously, if you're using PoE, that might be delivering your network as well. But you can go on Wi-Fi. I'm on the network here. Uh, we select our time. I like 24-hour time. And if you want to share any analytics with us, there's our anonymous. And then obviously, we'll, the platform. So we want to select Microsoft Teams. So we select that, it will now deploy the Microsoft Teams package onto the device now. And we are ready to launch it. Now what you'll need is the login credentials, say that you have for your neat board, so they match. So we simply go to microsoft.com forward slash device login, or we can sign in on this device. So let's just bring up a browser and I'll show you what I'm doing. So here we have my browser, and I like to use a private browser so it doesn't uh, conflict or anything. So I pop in the uh, URL and I enter my code. And then I log in with my credentials. Now you could also use the remote sign-in service from the Teams Admin Center. So that's something else I will show you in another video. I may have covered that before, but I'll do a new version. And how you can just have a six-digit code so you can give a local installer or an on-site technician just those details. And then you can do that remote login from here. So that's quite cool as well. So you don't have to give out the username and password to someone else. We can get rid of that window now. So this is signing in, uh, registering to uh, Microsoft Endpoint Manager, making sure you've got the correct licenses and policies in place, etc. So again, you can use the Microsoft Meeting Room license, the same device license that's inside the room, for the device outside the room as well. And there we have it. We are signed in and ready. I'm able to do a walk-up, reserve meeting. So I have my Linus business applications down the bottom, such as Room Cleaner or Feedback Survey. So I can tap on the Room Cleaner to alert facilities that, you know, I've finished with the room, I want it cleaned. 
So it's a simple power app that I developed within a few minutes. Taught myself how to do that, it's quite easy. It's like building a PowerPoint deck really, with some actions behind it. And I simply tick the box. And then what that does behind the scenes is actually send an email. So many different options, maybe use the new walkie talkie somehow, I don't know, to push an alert or obviously SMS, or obviously just a Teams message too. So lots of options there that you can do on that. So that is the neat pad running the Teams panel application. And then obviously you then manage it in the Teams admin center further on. So thanks very much for watching. Hope you found that useful. Any questions, let me know. Thanks very much.